Guys, when it comes to chickens, uh, whether you're raising them for eggs or for meat, uh, it's a very easy way to get into homesteading. Uh, if you have just a little bit of property, chickens do very well. Uh, today we're going to take a look at making an extremely easy feeder and something to give them water. We're going to take a couple of five gallon buckets, we've got a couple of feeding pans, and it makes it really simple. Okay, now the tools you'll need, uh, a cordless drill really helps out. Uh, you want a two inch hole punch. And then you want a half inch drill. Uh, you can use a standard drill or this hole drill. Uh, and this is for the water, this is for the feed. Sharpie comes in handy to mark where you're gonna drill. And then we have some screws and a couple of washers and I'll show you where that goes. And of course you need a Phillips head bit. Now I got the idea from this from Living Traditions Homestead. Uh, I'll have the video annotated above. Uh, they did it just a little bit different, but pretty much the same thing. One of the things though is you can use not only those buckets uh, and the feeding bowls, you can use whatever container, however you want to adapt it. A piece of wood, this is going to go down at the bottom of our feeder and secure it to the bucket. Now we're starting out with our feeding bucket and we want to cut circles, about four, that are really close as possible to the bottom and that way most of the feed will come out. Typically you have just a lot of excess plastic and you want to get rid of that. Uh, the chickens are getting their feed and they'll eat that. So just keep this kind of cleaned up and also check the inside as well. Next we're going to take a piece of wood, uh, any scrap wood will be fine and we're just going to take and put it in the bottom of the bucket and we're going to go ahead and drill it in. Now we'll take our bucket, just make sure that we're kind of in the middle uh, and that'll give space, even space all the way around. Now we're going to turn it over. Next take a screw with a washer, put it on here and then just attach it. Now you want a lid to be able to cover it uh, once you fill it up with feed and that just keeps the chickens from making a mess in here uh, or any kind of debris getting inside. Now we got the feeder bucket ready, let's do the water. Now the water bucket's definitely the easiest. There are a couple of things you can do. Uh, first off, you can take it, put your lid on it and turn it upside down uh, with the holes in it. And this is just gonna allow the water to pour out. Uh, then when you wanna fill it up, you lift it up and you take it and fill it. Now guys, like I was saying, we're gonna drill into the bottom. Now, I'll just be honest, when I first heard that, I thought, well, that makes it harder to do. Uh, I wanna be able just to lift the bucket off. If you don't do that, the water is gonna just pour everywhere. Uh, putting the lid on it, turning it around, and setting it in your pan, it creates a vacuum, and then it allows the water to stop. If you do it this way, uh, the water just continues to pour out because you have air coming in. So I tried that and it didn't work. And here you can see, I mean, it was pouring out everywhere. So the best way to do it is like I'm gonna show you and really that's the way that Living Traditions Homestead said to do it. I just didn't listen. Now to measure this out, uh, you wanna have it below the lip of your pan and really about an inch lower. Uh, there is this rim right here, so we're gonna have to actually drill through that. Uh, you could probably drill a little bit lower, uh, but then smaller chickens may not be able to get to it. Uh, the chickens that we have, they're going to be able to get to this, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to just drill right here. And that seems like that's a good spot. And you want to kind of even this out on all four sides. Now again, I'm going to take that half inch hole drill. We're just going to put it right here. And again, you want to remove any of that plastic. Now these are much cleaner holes. There's not as much plastic as the big hole saw. So this is a little bit easier to clean up. 
Now again, make sure you have a lid because you're going to set this on top of the lid and you're going to put it down. And then when you need to fill it up, you can just take it, turn it back over, and here we go. So really, we're just going to take it like this. We're going to put it down, making sure that's closed up. You want to leave your handle and the water will just pour out. Now you want to make sure that you don't go past these holes, give it a little bit of space, uh, that way it doesn't slosh around. Go ahead and take your lid and put it on, snap it into place. It doesn't have to have a gasket or anything, it doesn't have to be fancy, but you just want that to lock on. Then we're going to bring in our feed bucket. We're going to take the feed. And we can shake this up a little bit. And we get that feed down into the pan. Take that lid, put it on. Guys, we're gonna show you how we unpack the chickens before we got them. But I set up the wrong way for the water. So this is the correct way. You wanna take your pan. Again, making sure your lid is tight. Then we're gonna take it and just dump it, just like that. And here we go, filling up. Chickens are already going to it. And once it reaches the level right here, it should stop, and it has. Because this is a chicken tractor, it's not always flat, and so you may have to have something just to level it out, uh, which I have a small piece of wood here. It's getting really close here, and it's because it's coming from the other side. So I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit. Yeah, that little piece of wood really kind of evened it out. So you may want to have something if you don't have a really flat property. As you can see, it's already working well. The chickens are loving it. All right, we've got them eating. Man, they're gathering around this. Uh, one thing you can do is to get an extra pan and just set it out, and we definitely need to do that. But here we've got the feeder, and we have their water source, and it was super easy to make. Guys, very simple, very easy, and again, you can use whatever items you just happen to have around that you can adapt to this. It's just a very simple system, and keeps your birds happy. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. adapt to this. This guy just cut the grass yesterday. <laughs> I want to bring it closer. I just need to want to get closer. Grown chickens. <laughs>